It's Jim here. I am Timothy, and you are watching video 3.0 in my series on how to fight Ziku with Zangia. So this is the critical art. I'm going to be covering the critical art, and just real quick, we will take a look at it. There it is, right there. Batsuzan Gasi. Two quarter circles forward with a hard kick. Batsuzan Gasi. All right, so this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool critical art. Nice damage, 340 points of damage. A very, very cool attack, very, very damaging. Um, so it's pretty neat. That's his critical art, that's Ziku's critical art. In the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same whether he's in the old form or younger form. As far as I know, it, that's it, that stays exactly the same. It's just the normal moves and throws and specials that actually change. Um, things like this will actually remain the same. Okay, <clears throat> so I did that and then I actually did a, uh, I added the V-Trigger in with it. I added the Idatin with it because I wanted to see if he could teleport in and then do it. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. So he can teleport in. You know, he had to have his V-Trigger up too. But he he could teleport in and then do it, which I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah. So I'm sure there's combos and stuff into it, and pretty much everybody has at least a combo with it. But since this is just a critical art, no need to get into combos. Um, <clears throat> that's it for Ziku's critical art. Pretty uh, close range. The only thing I'd comment on it, and I would say the V-Trigger into the critical art is probably a really good idea for him because he needs to make sure he's close or combo or combo it because he needs to be close if he's just going to try to pull it off out of out of the blue he's just got to make sure he's in range for it because he'll miss it if he's not so all right guys cool thanks for watching